Port Arthur's Janis Joplin has become an iconic name in music and American culture. If she were alive today, Joplin would be celebrating her 70th birthday this week. KFTM reporter Leslie Rangel spoke with a former classmate of Joplin about her younger years and her life in the spotlight. <laughs> Janis Joplin's soulful voice defined a generation. None of us ever knew who would be successful and who would not be. But Janis had an ability to sing. We knew that because she did sing uh, folk music. Summertime. The Port Arthur woman with the big voice started small like most artists. You know, I heard her sing, you know, at a what we used to call a a hootenanny or you know around a bonfire and uh, where she would sing and accompany herself with a guitar. Dr. Sam Monroe is the president of Lamar State College Port Arthur. He'd known Joplin from the time they were children. Actually we were we started in kindergarten together. I knew her all the way through school. We went to Terrell School, uh, Woodrow Wilson uh, Middle School, Thomas Jefferson High School. Our parents uh, worked together. Monroe remembers Joplin as a star student editor of the school newspaper, a writer, an artist. But music changed her. And we don't think of folk music as being part of counterculture today, but in that day and time, it was sort of a protest style of music. It's not hard to spot Joplin in family pictures. Her clothing made her stand out. She would wear a dungaree. We call them blue jeans today. But in that day and time, if somebody wore motorcycle boots and dungarees, that was not in the mainstream of popular culture. Janice lived here on 32nd Street up until she left to Austin for college. Her classmate Sam helped put up this historical marker. He says it would be her dream come true. She wanted to be recognized in Port Arthur. Joplin was proud of her roots. Do you ever get back to Port Arthur, Texas? No, but I'm going back next in August, man. I guess what I'm doing. I don't know. Net I'm going to net? my 10th annual high school reunion. <laughs> a reunion Monroe remembers well. She got mad at me one time at the class reunion uh, when I gave her the gift for coming the greatest distance to be in the meeting. Joplin died more than 40 years ago, but Monroe will always remember his friend and schoolmate. Well, I, I wish she could be around to enjoy her 70th birthday, and I'd love to hear her sing Me and Bobby McGee. For me and my Bobby McGee. In Port Arthur, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. Janice Joplin would have turned 70 years old Saturday. The Museum of the Gulf Coast has a permanent exhibit focusing on Joplin. Sunday, the museum will add to the exhibit for visitors who want to learn more about her life.